Um, so without further ado, I'm gonna get into it. I have my vocals here with no effects on it whatsoever. I'm gonna play those, just the vocals. Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? Hey ladies. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and add the beat in with the vocals so you can hear why I wanna EQ it. Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? Hey ladies, where you at? Alright, now typically that sounds great over the uh. That sounds great over the beat, but what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw on a three band because I use three bands for um, all my vocals. All right, so I put a three band on there. All right, so here's the uh, three band EQ that I was talking about. And what I use this type of EQ for, why do I not have, what's wrong with this thing? Okay, it was shut off for some reason. Alright, so now you have your three, uh, your three frequencies. This EQ here, you can actually choose the frequencies that you want. So that way, you know, you can make high passes, low passes shelves whatnot okay so I choose my three mid frequencies because that's usually where your vocals are you're not gonna be anywhere down here because it's like a baseline and you're not gonna be anywhere up here because it's like the high pitch keys on a piano or a saxophone so that's why I use a three band because it helps cover these uh, three major areas the best and because if you're using this uh, particular EQ, the high mid filter is in the perfect position um, for vocals for most people. It ranges uh, from male to female, but this is usually the, the range that you want to be in. And sometimes you can even cut off that band. So now you're only using two uh, band passes or band filters. Uh, again, all this information is uh, posted on the link to the right of my page or to the right in the description click that link and read it if you really want to know what an EQ is um, alright so you can raise this I usually raise this up as well and this is gonna help boost just these frequencies where my voice is normally at um, your vocals are usually around in there and then um, you can move this over just a little bit this gives your voice that uh, pretty much it's gonna boost anything um, like if you have some if you said some things a little low or you had your voice a little low whatnot it's gonna boost those frequencies to even everything out all up in here okay so things will work better for the effect of uh, getting your your frequencies up so let's hear it with this uh, new EQ put on it. Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? Hey ladies, now it's a little too loud and we're scratching. Hey ladies, so what you, you want to do is drop at? it down, hey ladies, you and at? you may want to throw in that third filter. Hey ladies, where you at? Now it's where evening you at? out a little bit. Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? Hey ladies, and you can change the frequency where where you at? on where hey that ladies, third bandwidth comes or the second bandwidth, whatnot. Throw that up a little bit. Where you at? Where you at? EQing hey ladies, is you one of those things you at? Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? that you just have to play around with. Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? If all hey else ladies, fails, where you at? Where you at? You can go hey back ladies, to the factory where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? Hey ladies, where you at? Where you at? And then just go ahead and start doing your thing. Alright, where you at? And that's pretty much how to use an EQ. Um, I mean, once you read about an EQ and you get get into playing with one, you'll figure it out. They're not hard to use. They're not hard to figure out. Uh, don't be afraid of them. You see all those knobs? Don't be afraid of them because we're usually only going to be messing with one or two of them. 
where you at? Uh, where you at? When you're EQing hey, 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 for simple where you things. At? Where you at? Hey, if you ever mess with more than that, then you probably, uh, you know, you're probably doing something a little bit more complex, and you most likely know what you're doing. So don't worry about it. Uh, all these knobs that you see on here, you're probably not even gonna touch. Like you're not gonna mess with any of that over there. Uh, if you're doing vocals, you're only gonna really mess with these two right here, and probably not even that one. You're just gonna mess with your high mid filter because that's where your voices are gonna be. If you're doing an instrument, you may come over here and mess with the low mid filter and the low filter, uh, and that's pretty much just a shelving, a shelving uh, effect, cutting out highs, cutting, uh, boosting high or boosting lows and cutting lows. That's all that is, and that's usually uh, for like a bass, like a kick drum or a bass guitar. You're probably gonna want to boost them a little bit to maybe, uh, I don't know, positive three uh, dB, and then. You might want to cue it a little bit. It's all up to you. All right. Any questions about this? Call me, or I'm sorry, don't call me. <laughs> Any questions about this? Hit me up. Uh, leave a comment. Subscribe, and please make sure you check that link out on the right side. Peace.